In it comes. It's gone to Gleghorn yeah! through the keeper, and Gleghorn gets his second of the match. And Great Britain go into a 4 1 lead. Watches up. Goes to Kamada. Scores! 1 0. He's their go to guy, and he's delivered once again. Well, you always want your shots to be on goal. Sorello and Covers will look to do just that once again from the top of the D. Slick injection to Govers, takes the flick. Oh, it's crept in this time. Nothing the keeper could do. Too much power from Blake Govers. He is the leading goal scorer, and that's why Blake Govers, five in the tournament now. Australia, three. Poland, nil. Sorello with four himself as well. Comes Govers' his way. Oh, the flick rattles against the netting. Clipped a bit of post in there as well, I think. But Blake Govers, the top goal scorer in this tournament, goes to six. And Australia now four against Ireland. Out the ball comes, Payat takes it, fishes this one off the end of his stick, and that one does find the back of the net. But it really was just a matter of time, converting at the fourth time of asking. Gonzalo Payat makes it Argentina 1, Germany 0. Well, this was the angle which uh, I'm sure Jacobi would have never expected. Gonzalo loves to keep the ball low on the right and high on the left. But this was an amazing drag. Super powerful one and an angular one, which I'm sure Gonzalo would be surprised as well. That's a nice angle of it. Gonzalo Payet getting his fifth goal of the tournament. Ockenden and Brown to stop. Beal injects, goes to Brown, stop. Blake Govers fires it home, and he has his second of the match. The Govers brothers both with a double. Chances going straight over the baseline. Out it comes. Russia takes the shot. Oh, my goodness. There was a vague portrayal behind that one. And uh, Germany have got a third goal. Moritz first for the goal scorer. English. English. Well, first he did this in the warm-up out to the top, ripped round his body, shapes to the goalkeeper's left, pulls it back round, uses the hook of the stick as it goes into that. Goalkeeper's top right, attacker's top left. What power. Oh, what an opportunity here for England. One defender short for Spain. As it comes, Jackson goes high! But not too high, England have the lead. That is unstoppable. That's a wry smile from Crutchley, but are the Spanish asking for something? What's this conversation? Well, it doesn't look like it's a video referral because the flick itself is unstoppable. Cortez is brilliant, but you don't stop this. Out, stop, drag, whip. What? You couldn't have picked the ball up and put it in a better place. Victor Charlet. Up. He takes on the shot off. Well, that's why we have our eyes on him. He's a bit special at this point. And Victor Charlet converting one of the best corners we've seen in the tournament. Victor Charlet from the Waterloo Ducks. Rattling that one home. Absolutely phenomenal drag flick from Charlet. Absolutely nothing that the Russians can do about that. It goes above the post player's head like an absolute thunderbolt. Donald is the injector and could be an option on the far post. It's Dawson that takes a straight flick this time and scores. Eventually, the USA have the breakthrough. Five and a half minutes left to play in the half, and the USA take the lead. She's uh, not to be used this time. Shot goes in. Clean as a whistle this time. And there's clear water now between these two sides. A well constructed penalty corner routine. And England beaten between the goalkeeper and her left-hand post.
Well, the Dutch are double castle, go to the right hand attacking castle. It's gone through the left hand of Maddie Hinge, but I think there's questions that have got to be asked. Shirley McCallan on the left hand side of Hinch steps wide away from the goal. It goes through her. Hinch is then forced to really extend to her left. Not a channel that I think she was expecting to cover. Kaiva Masaka, tall blonde, number 13, takes on the shot, goes low. And the keeper got something on it, but she couldn't keep the ball out of the net. And the Dutch have doubled their lead. De Ho got down very well here. Finally a goal for the Dutch from corners and she's got down but she's not got down low enough and as you can see it's just crept then above the stick and into the goal. I mean good pace and power from Van Massica at the top. You can see how long that lunges from the top and the distance she gets from that enabling her to get some power across the ball. Spain look at the goal. It's a good low flick and it's a great goal. Fantastic bottom left-hand corner for Lola Riera. What a finish that was from the local last 23 years of age. And it comes again then. Baron Nuevo this time keeps it low and pinpoint accuracy from Norel Baron Nuevo gets her first goal of this campaign and it's Argentina's third of this game. It's Argentina three, Canada nil. Baron Nuevo on the left. Facing the goal and Rebecca on the right facing the goal. It's going to be Rebecca along the ground. Fantastic finish. She is such a superstar, Carla Rebecca. She scored two against the USA in the quarter final, one from a penalty corner. She scored in the opening match of Pool 8 for the Argentinians again. Australia running a three and one defence, protecting the goalkeeper's left. Punt and Neil again. Punt sweeps towards goal and she scored. Anita Punt has put New Zealand ahead and she is now the all-time record goal scorer for New Zealand. Out it comes. Powerman takes it on, goes low this time. And all along the deck and too good for a sporting goalkeeper. And the Dutch have got a ninth goal here. Marchi Powerman. So McMahon and Flanagan wait. Will be Flanagan, had to move her feet, but Flanagan fires into the top corner. That'll do her confidence, the world of good. Australia now go into a 2-0 lead. Anna Flanagan, and there's the mother lending her support. Out it comes. Palman closes down, shoots! She shoots, she scores. No stopping that one. Marchi Palman opens her account. Two very tall girls. Kenny to take it on. Oh, you're not stopping that. What a goal. What a flick that was. Jodie Kenny opens the scoring for Australia with a wonderful penalty corner goal. Van Heffen waits to try. It is Palman. Low, and it's dribbled in underneath Chirico, and the Netherlands have opened the scoring. So Punt with another opportunity. Punt scores for New Zealand. They have a lifeline. Anita Punt has done it again. What a leader she is for the Black Sticks.